what's up YouTube today's Sunday and I plan on getting some pictures taken today and that's about it I don't want to be here forever so I'm gonna do some easy stuff uh, and get home uh, anyway my uh, virtual assistants who do the listing drafts uh, will be at work tonight while I'm asleep so I want to get them some photos over so I'll have some uh, drafts when I wake up to get published all right that's all I'm doing today tomorrow in the next clip you'll see some what sold stuff for the weekend all right, let's see if this thing works. I didn't test it at Goodwill, but I did turn it on there. But that's all I could do. So here we go. Let's see, the speakers work. You hear the static. Okay, volume knob works. Where's the tune? Don't want to get a copyright violation, so that works. I was holding off testing this because I was like, I don't have any C my t test CDs with me. And I looked over at the shelf to about 50 CDs I'm selling. Uh, yeah, okay. I can test it. Let's put in one of the, this guy. Alright, CD doesn't work. That's okay. Still gonna make money on it. Um, even if it doesn't work, sell it for parts. Just not as much as I'd like. And it could just be a dirty lens, but oh, look how dirty that is. Who knows? Oh, that's a bummer. Alright, so I got everything photographed that I bought at the estate sale uh, yesterday, and which will be. I don't know however many days that is when you see this, but um, anyway, I'm going to go check out Crazy Cas Boys again. Uh, it's $3 today for everything on Sunday, and I'm going to go see what they got. Alright, here we go. See what I can find today. Hey guys, happy Monday. Uh, let me show you real quick what I got from Crazy Cas Boys yesterday. Paid three dollars a piece for these. Uh, they had a whole bunch of uh, cleats, but most of them were kids. And that was three dollar day. I don't want to pay three dollars for kids' cleats. Um, the three pairs up front are football cleats, and the three pairs in the back are track. So those might not sell well. I'm not sure when track season is, um, but I'm sure it's maybe in the fall. I don't know, spring. <laughs> Um, these aren't really high-end Nikes. I might be able to get 30 bucks a piece for them, but for three bucks, yeah, I get them. And then the printer cartridge is still sealed. And these two things, like, <laughs> just they just cracked me up. But anyway, that's all I got today. Time to pull some orders. Yeah, so the three pairs of track shoes, they uh, have screw-in spikes, plastic spikes, and uh, I looked in at the store and I saw a bag, so I grabbed them, but it's only for one shoe, so somebody must have bought them on Amazon, took the spikes, and then sent them back. At least I can make one complete pair. Well, you live and you learn. Alright, so I sold 23 items from Friday to Sunday, and the first thing is... This eyeliner stuff I got at Crazy Cas Boys, $2. This is less than I thought. I sold it for $18.99, free shipping. Alright, next up is a Road Champs uh, Greyhound bus. Still in the packaging. I got this over the summer in a state sale where I bought a bunch of these fire engines bulk for about $2 a piece. Um, sold it for $29.99. I had originally sold it, sold this for $49.99. The customer asked me to remove the label, and that was the result of me trying to remove the label. I know how to remove labels. I don't know what I was thinking that day, uh, so I had to cancel the order because they were drop shipping it also. Anyway, I relisted it for $29.99 because of the damage, and it sold that same day. 
All right, next up is uh, Johnny Lightning 1971 Plymouth Duster. Sold it for $14.99 free shipping. It's one of these, so uh, go ahead and pause it real quick. Right, here it is. I also sold this one for $19.99. It's a Camaro 25th Anniversary Edition. All right, next item is a Nike gym bag. I got it in a storage unit. Forgot what I paid, but I know I'm far in the profit. I accepted a best offer of $25 for this. So it's in one of these totes, just gotta find it. All right, here it is. It's pretty light. There's nothing that really can break on it, so just shipping it in this poly bag. All right, next up is this Courier Caravelli. It's a solid state CB transceiver. I got this at an estate sale where I filled up 10 or 11 totes full of stuff. And he just said, how about $400 for everything? So I'm well, well, well into the profit. And I accepted an offer of $50 free shipping. All right, next thing I sold is this Rocket Fish. Um, receiver it basically makes uh speakers wireless um there's another part to it but this is the receiver only it used to be mine just don't have a use for it since we moved and the other parts packed somewhere else up but i sold this for 29.99 free shipping all right next up are a couple uh nes games i listed so i sold uh super mario 3 without the box for 14.99 and Donkey Kong Jr. without the box for $19.99. Just gotta find it. Both of those are free shipping. Next up is a 16.9 ounce Mountain Dew bottle. Got this in a locker I paid 90 bucks for. Um, I made a ton of money off that unit as well. Uh, this sold for $24.97 free shipping. I got excited when I first looked this up because uh, I saw that they were selling for $50. But that was a 32-ounce bottle. Uh, what makes this one special is the label's hand-painted on, so it's vintage. Yeah, not bad for the locker I've probably made about $1,200 on so far. Next up is some butterfly pins. A pair of two of them. They're pretty small. Sold for $12.97. They're in this bin right here. Let me get them out real quick. So I got these on an estate sale last year at half off day for $1.50. Another signed Sarah Covington Covington. So Alright, next up is a bunch of miscellaneous uh RC parts. Most of them are new in packages. I got these at the same estate sale where I spent 400 bucks on a bunch of totes. Um, they were actually in an RC box like that. I thought I was buying two vintage RC cars, but one box was empty and it just had some parts in it. Um, I'm not mad because I've made a ton of money, um, but they're in one of these totes. I don't know which one it is. I haven't got the mark in them, so... It's probably one of the easy, so I need to put the phone down and do a little search. All right, here they are. Of course, they're in the last box I looked in, yeah, and the first one I showed on video. I also grabbed these, which I got in a locker. I don't remember which one. Um, they're fish plants, plastic plants for aquarium. Actually, I didn't get this in a locker. I got this at a thrift store. All right, next up is a lot of seven high school medals for wrestling. Uh, these were found in the locker. All right, next up is these Z-Wave switches for fans. They're in A6. I sold two of these to somebody for a total of $47.97. I 
picked these up at Lowe's when I was there shopping for um, the house. Just checked it. I wanted to check out the clearance rack, and there they were, $7 a piece. So I bought all of them. Not bad. Well, uh, 14 into 47. All right, next up is um, some more NES games. Excuse the mess. That's where all those empty boxes were in my other locker, but I had to pull them out to put the furniture in. And Wednesday, they come around and pick up bulk trash, so this will be gone tomorrow. But anyway, I sold Joe and Mac. And I'll put the price on the screen because I don't remember all of them. Uh, WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. And Super Mario 3. These were pretty good money. I know Super Mario 3 was... So I sent a best offer. For 10% off, so somebody got it for $71.99. Alright, next up is a license plate. Got a couple, bunch of little mint ones. I paid five bucks a piece for these. This is a sample plate from 1991, South Carolina. It has a bird on it. And I sold this for $29.99 free shipping all right next up is a couple trains one was a train building it's a smaller building um i think it's actually a like a transformer built into it too but i don't see them is this it just behind that guy. It's a little bigger than I remember. But this sold for $79.99. Free shipping. I'll leave it right there because I have another uh, car to get. Probably have to pause it. I'm pretty sure it's Chevron tank car. I sold that one for $29.99. Free shipping. Uh, this is what's left of a huge lot train collection I bought from a for my guy who buys storage units, um, pay twelve hundred dollars for hundred and twenty pieces, and this is what's left. I got my money back in the first weekend. I got all this listed with like five or six items, so it was a really good pickup. This is either the stuff that's either I have it priced a little too high or it's not as desirable. All right, last two items. So kind of cheated and pulled them out a little bit make the video a little smoother there's a this star wars i couldn't figure out what it's called so i just called it star wars spaceship it's from 2008 it's missing pieces um i got us at a state sale for that 400 hundred dollar deal with the whole truckload full of stuff i just threw it in totes sold this for 24.97 and then this came with all the uh, Johnny Lightning stuff I got. So it's Harley Davidson 5 pack. Sold it for $19.99. Alright, guys, not a bad weekend of sales. Um, I offer free shipping on like 90% of the stuff that I sell. Um, it's just a, mo a model I chose to use. I, of course, I raised the prices and it put the shipping in the cost. Um, I know some people don't agree with it, some people love it, but that's what I do. But anyway, not a bad weekend for being closed up for a month and not selling anything at all. Uh, I guess this means I'm back in business. And actually, this is kind of a slow weekend for me. I only sold 23 things. Usually I'm in the 30 thing range for the weekend. So, um, for item wise, it was kind of down, but money wise, it was decent. Um, and if you're still watching at this point, it's uh, time to wrap this up. I'm going to try to get this video up tonight. So, uh, if you're still watching, thank you. And, uh, appreciate the subscription. And I'll talk to you soon.